Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy back at it again. All right, so in this video, I am going to be going to the gym and then narrating and giving you kind of a full break breakdown of my upper body days. Uh, I'm still working out here in the apartment gym. I'm gonna be moving soon. Uh, I have a membership for a better, better gym, but I haven't been feeling like going. I've been putting in work to these edits so I get more time to edit. And yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna use most of the clips I have from the last time I went to the gym and I'll just add a couple of clips from today's workout. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk over them, okay? All right, peace. All right, so the first thing we got is pull-ups. So I always do them in the beginning of my workouts. I, I'm too tired if I hold them off till the end, so I just knock them out in the beginning. I do five sets to failure. Uh, I'm terrible at pull-ups. I can only crank about about 12. And I think I got nine in this clip. So yeah, do five sets, failure each time, and yeah. All right, so I know I'm doing rows here, but before rows, I did lap, four sets of lap pull-downs. And the reason I, re I didn't record them is because, as you can tell, this is a very small gym and there was a lot of people. So I didn't feel like recording myself i'm not there yet and yeah so four sets of lap pull downs and then i move on to my rows and i usually go lighter on my rows just because i'm already a little bit tired by then yeah all right so the next thing i do is chest press and the reason i'm using the actual machine for this is because there's only 50 pounds the heaviest dumbbells go up go up in my apartment gym is 50 pounds so that's a little bit too light now so yeah i'm using the machine I'm, I start off with 135 and I crank out about eight reps. Then I move up to 145, crank out four reps. Then I move on to 150, crank out two reps. Then 165, three reps. And that's where I peak at, I'm weak. Okay, so now I'm doing my leaning lateral races with the cable machine. And I usually do, go as light as I can and just to protect the shoulder because i have kind of bad shoulders and i just rep out as many as i can so i got 22 for per set so yeah 22 reps per set and then after this i'll move on to my rear delts and the way i hit them is with the same machine i kneel down and then i think it's called a horizontal rear delt uh, pull so yeah i don't have the clip but look them up look it up if you need to learn how to do it but yeah all right, so next is my dips. And again, take them to about four sets, pretty much with every single exercise I do. Um, and I'm very weak with them, so I can only crank about crank out about 10. Yeah, so four sets failure each time. And yeah, then I move on to my bicep exercises, but for some reason, I went to play that basketball the other day, and I think I landed wrong, and my back was just giving up. So I went to try to do my usual barbell standing bicep curls and my back was just not feeling like it. So then I said, okay, I'll try just regular dumbbells. Maybe they let, there's less load, but nope, my back still felt like it was hurting a lot. So I ended up doing seated extended bicep curls, which I never do. Uh, they're pre pretty good exercise by itself. Felt a really good pump the next day. I mean, not, not pump, soreness the next day, but yeah, I usually do stick to my barbell and bicep curls. That's my gold standard. But yeah, from there, I some exercises I don't have the clips for, but I'll still see if I can find some other clips and demonstrations. Is is a low to high X? Well, with a in, in the cable machine, low to high uh, cable crossover for chest, uh, hitting the lower chest. Well, all around chest, but emphasizes on the lower chest. Then. Another exercise I forgot to add was, well, my ab exercises. Okay, so this is the next little bit, little segment of the video. So for abs, I usually just do three exercises each time. So I have my uh, hanging leg races. So I, again, four sets, take it, take it to failure. Then from there, I'll move on to the exercise I learned from PJF Performance. Paul favorites. Uh, he's a personal trainer. So yeah, shout out to him. And it's basically a 
like it, when you're holding a mask when you're you're jabbing you, it's the same exercise but with the cable machine so it's kind of I'll, I'll see if I can find a video I don't know what it's called but yeah so I'll put that right here and then the last exercise I do is a seated good morning with a barbell if that if that's what it's called um, and that's honestly the best ab exercise I've ever done honestly and I know a lot of people don't like to hit abs but for me personally like I'm speaking just this is for me if I do not hit my abs like they just don't even show up like if I go four months and I don't I keep my routine exactly the same my abs just yeah like you can see somewhat of that outline but they just don't stick out and I guess that's just because I naturally don't have good ab genetics so I have to increase the size of them so that they stick out so do with that what you will it's up to you whether or not you want to train them you might have naturally protruding ab genetics so if you do then this must not be a necessity but yeah that's pretty much everything i do for my upper body day um yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video yeah, man if you if you reach this part of the video man drop a sub honestly I would appreciate i would appreciate it so much i'm gonna be dropping a lot of future nba slash just sports content so that's what this channel is about just me my progression in the gym some gym advice and then nba sports commentary videos so yeah man if you like the video drop it a like subscribe drop a comment what you want me to drop next yeah peace man